Do not try any of what you see here at home. Seriously, you could get really messed up. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 total drama moments. For this list, we'll be looking back at some of the funniest, most shocking, and most overall dramatic moments in this animated reality TV franchise. A word of warning, these incidents are plot heavy, so expect spoilers ahead. Oh, ignore her! She's just trying to get sympathy, aren't you, Samey? Number 10, Commando Zoe, Total Drama, Revenge of the Island. Of all the new contestants on Revenge of the Island, Zoe's shown to be one of the sweetest, most trusting, and most gullible of the crew. However, when Chef Hatchet pushes her buttons during a challenge, breaking her gift from Mike in the process, something inside Zoe snaps. She adopts a new cutthroat attitude and develops expertise in laying traps and commando acrobatics, and a thirst for vengeance against anyone who's crossed her, abused her, or stood in her way. It's payback time! And I don't care if that's okay with everyone! <laughs> Total Drama has a habit of pushing its contestants to extreme measures, but who would have thought it could turn an innocent, lonely girl into a psychotic, vengeful war machine? I may have pushed her too far. Fortunately, remembering her loved ones is enough to snap her out of it. But no amount of money will buy a true friend. I'm coming to save you, Cam! Hey, Bog Breath! Get ready for a small town smackdown! Number 9, Full Frontal, Total Drama Island. I don't know what Heather did to make Harold lose his concentration, but it's a total wipeout for the Bass team. Oh, yeah. As a reality show of sorts, Total Drama was never afraid of showing the more perverse moments. Censored, of course. One incident that comes to mind takes place during the water ski challenge in season one, where Heather drives a ski through the mud while Harold tries to collect flags along the way. I couldn't let that little dorkwad win, so I decided to cut him loose. It looks like victory is Harold's until Heather decides to try and cut him loose. Before she can try, however, her top gets snagged on a low-hanging branch, and Harold certainly gets an eyeful. This is the only instance on the show where a female character's chest is exposed, but boy did it leave an impact, especially on Harold, who was eliminated for losing the challenge. Even Heather's accidental schemes are nasty. Farewell, Total Drama Island. I loved, I lost, and I saw boobies. What more can a man ask for? You loved? You're a man? Number 8. This is how we will end it. Total Drama World Tour. Season 3 had a plethora of musical numbers to spare, but the one that really catches our ears is the villainous duet between Alejandro and Heather. This is how we will end it. Your bill must be paid. Ooh. Heather ends up trapped in a hole, and Alejandro seriously considers leaving her there. He successfully took out nearly every other female contestant, so what difference would it make? Fortunately for Heather, she's able to appeal to Alejandro's better nature, if he has one, and convinces him to help free her. Please, Alejandro, you and I have been the greatest adversaries this game has ever seen. Is this how you want to win it? Because I got jammed into a pit by a stupid rock? Is that the victory you want? Aside from the alternative rock instrumental, what really sells the song is the dramatic tension between these two. They've butted heads all season, and this eerie tune only cements their heated rivalry. Of course, we all know there's a little something extra between them. Anyone who asks me if I liked having his hand on my shoulder will be wedged in a hole of their own. Got it? It is all strategic. I did not let my feelings get in the way of the game. It's just that I changed my mind. Number 7. Izzy vs. Chef, Total Drama Island Chef Hatchet is on the hunt for campers during the hide-and-seek challenge, and crazy Izzy just accidentally gave herself away. I guess you heard that, huh? However, Izzy isn't going to back down without a fight, and challenges Chef to face her in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The two are evenly matched until Izzy manages to kick Chef back and make a run for it, but their struggle ultimately ends in his favor. 
Izzy may be a psycho, but we have to give her credit. Not everyone is crazy or brave enough to take on the grouchy old chef. And it resulted in one of the most epic, funniest showdowns in the show's history. Spoiler alert, this isn't the last time we see these two clash with each other. One of us isn't getting out of here clean. <laughs> you call that a paintball gun? This is a paintball gun. Number 6. Chris's Wild Goose Chase – Total Drama Island Season 1 has finally ended. Owen or Gwen has won the coveted $100,000 prize, and the contestants can finally go home. Or so they think. We had our PAs make a cardboard check of this awesome new prize. We went through a lot of cardboard to make this! In the season epilogue, Chris offers the campers one last chance to win an even better prize, $1 million, and all they have to do is find the briefcase. After a long day of searching, backstabbing, and unexpected character developments, everyone loses the case, but Chris gives 14 of them a chance to win the money again in season two. I didn't want to have to do this, but since none of the 14 of you officially won, you all officially tie, which means that you will all have another shot at winning the million dollars. Oh, yeah! yeah! In season two! That's right, Chris's little hunt for the million was all rigmarole to announce another season of torture for our weary contestants. Unfortunately for them, it's never really over until Chris says so. So don't forget to tune in to Total Drama Action! Number 5. Harold Beatboxing – Total Drama Island during the season one talent show challenge, the killer bass are bombing big time and are desperate enough to rely on Harold to save their tails. It's not like they have anything left to lose. Just go for it, Harold. What have you got to lose? Turns out that may have been the best act of desperation ever because how does Harold blow the crowd away with an unexpected epic beatboxing solo? The jump cuts, the vocalizations, and the clear passion in Harold's performance are all rewarded with thunderous applause and victory for his team. Booyah! <laughs> Harold may be a geeky know-it-all most of the time, but this proves that he definitely has wicked skills, maybe even enough to go professional someday. <laughs> Fresh? Number 4. Ezekiel Descends Into Madness – Total Drama World Tour After being booted out in Season 1, which he kind of deserved, Ezekiel was more determined than ever to win Season 3. Unfortunately, history ends up repeating itself when he gets the boot in the second episode. I'm not going anywhere! This game's mine, eh? But Zeke's story doesn't end there. He manages to sneak back onto the jumbo jet and can occasionally be seen hiding in the background throughout the rest of the season. A pathetic pile of stuff nobody wants. Ugh! Goodbye, first class. Was that? But this game of Where's Waldo takes a dark turn as we watch Ezekiel devolve from a homeschool geek into a feral, golem like beast after being isolated for so long. <gasps> Ezekiel? Found him living in the cargo hold, homeschooling with the rats. The tragic part is that Zeke stays feral for the rest of the series, all thanks to Chris. What a shock. Number 3. Heather's Karma – Total Drama Island As one of the show's biggest antagonists, Heather miraculously managed to manipulate her way to the final three of the first season. But in the semi-final challenge, Karma finally catches up to her in a big way. What's it going to be, Heather? Are you going to do the dare? or the walk of shame. She's dared to have her head shaved by Chef, but before she even accepts the dare, she hastily kicks the razor away and it backfires. Hilariously. <laughs> Thanks to a technicality, Heather not only loses her hair, but the game as well, thus putting an end to her reign of terror. Well, that was an unfortunate accident. Looks like Heather's out. What are you talking about? He shaved my head! True, but you didn't actually accept the dare. If you had, you'd still be bald. 
but at least you'd be in the game. Considering all the people she's backstabbed and taken advantage of, we can't think of anything more satisfying than watching the queen bee lose her crown, which doesn't even grow back until season three. You want drama? You'll be penniless, jobless. Your name will be mud on every blog from here to Cape Breton. Number two, the love triangle, total drama world tour. At first, Duncan and Courtney had such a promising relationship in season one, an unexpected romance blossoming between two polar opposites who originally could not stand each other. Well, you could always give me that kiss. That'd be pretty bad. You're still not my type. Fine. Enjoy a peanut butter less life. Thanks. Enjoy prison. I will. However, throughout season two, their relationship becomes incredibly strained, and Duncan and Gwen kiss behind Courtney's back in season three. Ow! Hey. When their dirty little secret is exposed, it goes about as well as you'd expect. How could you? I thought we were friend-ish. I hate you. I hate you! To be honest, nobody was in the right in this scenario. Courtney's controlling attitude pushed Duncan away, and Gwen and Duncan betrayed her trust and broke her heart. And worse yet, Gwen gets all the blame. Reality TV romance, is it ever a good idea? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Owen takes an epic plunge, Total Drama Island. <laughs> Heather kisses Trent. Total Drama Island. Ah! Maybe Gwen thinks your music stinks, but I think you're really talented. Gwen scares off the psycho killer. Total Drama Island. Ah! Ow! Oh, that was totally uncalled for! Man, I am so out of here. Camp Wawanakwa sinks. Total Drama All Stars. <laughs> Captain Hollywood. Total Drama Action. Whatever. It's not like I need her. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'm crazy about her. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Lindsay Roasts Heather – Total Drama Island Hey! Maybe we should try forming a girls alliance again! Or not! Throughout season one, Heather and Lindsay had a rather dysfunctional friendship, Lindsay thinking they're BFFs while Heather uses her as a pawn. Aren't you even sad? We're BFFs! Yeah, for the contest. I mean, it's not like we're gonna be best friends for life or anything. However, when Lindsay is eliminated during the motocross challenge, she learns the truth about Heather's deception and gives her a surprising verbal lashing. Needless to say, it's shocking to see the normally airheaded Lindsay tear into someone. She was always such a ditzy sweetheart. You really are a two-faced, backstabbing, lying little, no good, selfish, heartless, pushy, bossy, mean bully of a girl. However, after everything Heather's done, not just to her, but everyone else, this eruption was well-deserved. And it's always empowering to see a former pushover stand up for themselves. The shocked reactions to Lindsay's outburst really tie it all together as one of the show's most hilarious and therapeutic scenes. I don't know what came over me. Oh wait, yes I do. Heather's a total no good selfish. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.